Hello, I created a platforming demo, uh, you know, a 15 minute project where I create a platforming game. It's got a kind of Kirby-esque jumping. Um, I'm using these low light environments because uh, normally I don't get a chance to. Normally the light, um, there's no there's no lighting in the, in the engines I normally use. So I've gone ahead and implemented uh, some enemies and uh, they also have lights just because that's fun. Although there is no such thing as health or damage yet, that will come later. Now, one of the things I wanted to do is I wanted to make it so that you have to use the enemies to reveal what's going on. So you can't actually see this platform I'm on, not until the enemy comes close enough for you to be able to see it. Um, this was really easy to put together, but I did have to create my own character controller. Uh, there are a couple of built-in character controllers that you get for free, um, but they all include movement on the z-axis that's towards uh, towards me, or towards the screen, towards you. Um, so I w didn't want that. I wanted a more Mega Man style. I died! I wanted a more Mega Man style game, and uh, uh, therefore the characters do not move on the z-axis. But I had to build my own character um, movement system. and. Uh, that was a little bit of an adventure. There are some weirdities, um, but once you get used to them, it works out pretty well, I think. And uh, the only thing I've become irritated by is how difficult it is to get the content I put into Unity to behave properly. So I've more or less gone back to using simple primitive shapes. Um, but I imagine eventually I'll figure it out. And that's it.